goop, as promised. You can see it is standing up in a kind of goopy way and this has bubbles in it that are very slowly dissipating. It turns out if you turn the oven fan off to quieten it down while you're talking to the camera, the chocolate takes longer to melt. But this has melted. You can see it's melted and run down. Really it just still has a bit of a shape. We have clarified butter above butter solids and molten chocolate. All that is going to be mixed together along with 80 grams of flour and two egg yolks. I have an extra bowl here into which to put the egg whites because we're going to add them later. Also in the background two pots of cottage cheese. You can also use quark. Those are for the topping. We're not doing that yet. We're working on the base. The bowl with the butter in it is the base. The bowl without the butter is going to be the topping. One thing you can do if you haven't eaten the leftover white chocolate. I haven't eaten it so I'm not going to demonstrate. You can melt it too in an extra bowl, in a whole row of extra bowls. Add a few drops of food colouring to each bowl, mix them well, and then use them and a clean paintbrush, not the paintbrushes you use for painting, clean set of paintbrushes reserved for this purpose, to paint pretty little love hearts or people's initials or kittens or something on top of your cakes when they're done. I'm not going to do that. I'm not about to spend six quid on food colouring to do that. Also, I have eaten the last of the white chocolate. Just thought I would mention it is a thing you can do. So, I'm about to separate, weigh out some flour, separate some eggs, and add 50 grams of, grams of almonds. I have almonds here. Almonds come in a 150 gram packet. There. So that packet is just enough for three, so I'm gonna have some left over, that's fine. There was something else I wanted to add. Oh, vanilla. I have a little bottle of vanilla extract. Actual vanilla bean extract, not beaver's arsehole extract. Just, yeah, natural vanilla flavouring is just any natural substance that tastes like vanilla. That actually came from vanilla beans, which is why it's rather expensive. Probably get away with not using that, 